So, Ibi, given your background as a Holocaust survivor, what do you think is the importance of places like this centre in today's world? I, I think it's very important that we don't forget the past. If we forget the past, we make the same mistakes again. And I think it's very important, particularly for young people, to realise that circumstances today are very similar to the circumstances that happened in the 1930s. Mm. That differentiation is made by people because of different colour, different religion, mm. different circumstances. And they forgot that each person should be based, I won't say judged, valued as an individual. And I also feel like that when they talked about me, about Germans, I think you have to talk a person as individuals. And I think it's very, very important for young people to realize that the differences in colour and circumstances don't make differences to the person. We all start off at the same level, mm -hmm. and it's up to us what we make with our lives. And it's up to us how we live and how we treat other people. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't expect to be treated differently to the way we treat them other people. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, I was told that my rule of life should be do no harm. And I've tried to live along that, that way. I won't say I was always successful, but I certainly tried not to do harm. And I think that is the one thing that's very important for, for everybody to mm -hmm. not to do harm. Yeah. That's a message that obviously transcends decades, doesn't it? It's, exactly. it's, it's still as relevant today as it's, it was then. It, it applies always, and has applied always, and will always apply. Mm -hmm. Do no harm. I won't say don't do good and don't do evil. That is too, diff too tight a uh, uh, category. Mm -hmm. Do mm -hmm. no harm individually is something I think that every person, before you do something, will it do any harm? Mm -hmm. And avoid it if it is going to yeah. do harm. Yeah. Say no. Why do you think it's so important that we remember this anniversary, sort of 75 years on? <laughs> well, I'm 96 years old. How many of us there are? There aren't many survivors left now. I think I'm one of a handful in this country. I mean, I was probably one of the youngest that was taken to Auschwitz-Birkenau. So there are not going to be many more years where we are going to be able to speak out. Mm -hmm. And I mean, right. I've written books, but the thing is, writing, reading, talking, it's different when you talk to somebody in, in person. I find a difference when I go to schools, when I go to university, when I go to the House of Commons, when I've spoken twice. When you talk face to face to a person, I always reserve the right not yeah. to answer questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yes, basically, I think it's a question of personal con. It makes the event personal, mm -hmm. it ties it in to a person mm -hmm. rather than being a book that you read yeah. or even a film that yeah. you see. It sort of makes it more real, doesn't it? It's, yes. Yeah. I suppose that's one of the reasons why this centre is so important because it has the film testimony and it has actual And it's very important that, that, that we should have heard. something in the north of England because I get absolutely exasperated with everything being centred in London. Mm -hmm. My daughter happens to live in London and I live down there, but I think it's exceedingly important that we emphasise it, that this is not London only, this isn't London, this is something that is general right across the country. Mm -hmm. And we have to make this something here which is approachable, accessible yeah. for young yeah. people without having to spend a whole day travelling. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, with young people in mind, do you have a message for them? Well, my message basically is the way I try to live, is to stop and think before you say something. And then the most important thing, do no harm. Mm -hmm.